chapter 7. Also, no. Well, okay, you guys. I'm only writing this because I got five god reviews. In BTW, I won't read the NXT chapter till I get 10 good ones. So, Fleming, or I'll report you. Ebony isn't a Mary. So, okay, she isn't perfect. She, she is a Satanist. And she has problems. She's depressed for God's sake. Drake and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist things on my nails in red nail polish. Also, oh, not see. Does that sound like a Mary Sue to you? Yes, it does. I waved to Vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then, dot dot dot. We started Frenching. Passively, and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He filled me up before I took off my top. Then I took off my black the bra, and he took off his pants. We went on the bed and started making out naked. And then he put his boy thing in mine, and we had sex. See, is that stupid? Yes. Oh, Draco, Draco, I screamed while getting an orgasm, when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. In it was, in it, on it, in bloody gothic writing were the words, dot, 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 vampire. I was so angry. You bastard, I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No, no, but you don't understand, Draco pleaded, but I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot, I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. I put on my clothes all huffily and then stormed out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but I was too mad to care. I stormed out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom, where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire, pother, you motherfucker, I yelled. 